Hello everyone, Deborah Roth here at Spirited Living for another look at how you can access, how you can embrace your divinely feminine wisdom. And I've been doing that the last many weeks by introducing you or maybe reintroducing you to some goddesses from around the world. Um, in, in Circle I often talk about that the, the Divine Feminine is the, the goddess of 10,000 faces because there really are <laughs> so many uh, representations of the Divine Feminine from all over the world. And who stepped up today, not surprisingly for a number of reasons, it always seems to happen that way, to be acknowledged and celebrated and honored is Oya, O-Y-A. You may or may not have heard of her, but she is one of the most powerful uh, Brazilian Macumba goddesses. She originally comes from Africa. She's an Aru a, a Yoruban goddess from the Yoruban tribe in Africa. And she's, and, and they, they call them actually Orishas. She's, she's the Yoruban Orisha that governs weather and uh, tornadoes and hurricanes and fire on the, on the, in the natural world. And then for us, particularly as women, she is, um, she governs uh, female leadership and transformation. Um, one of the, <laughs> I do have um, an Oya statue because she's quite extraordinary, if you can see her. And she is nursing one of her nine children. And she is said to be, and this, this comes in nine is her sacred number for a number of reasons, certainly because of the, the number of children that she has, but also um, because she governs the nine winds. And I think one of the reasons she came through today is because of what's really happening um, around our country uh, with, with Hurricanes Lara and Mar uh, Marco, I believe, coming into the Gulf Coast. Um, the fires, the horrible fires in California right now. Um, she's, <laughs> she would be a good one to, um, to evoke, to invoke with any of these things that, that are being caused by climate change, um, the increase in, in hurricanes this season, that kind of thing. Um, she's also obviously, uh, if, if she is considered a protectress. I, I, love, I love the image that I just showed you. Not only is she considered sort of this, not sort of, she's considered a warrior uh, Amazon goddess, but, but she's also a mother. And I love that because that's who we are as women. Um, and you guys out there, any guys watching this, um, we all carry this divine feminine energy within us. I always talk about that. And, and that means that we're honoring with, with our warrior selves, with our sort of left brain, full steam ahead selves, um, holding that at, at, at simultaneously as with our receptive nurturing um, part of ourselves, the, the feminine energy and, and the masculine energy together. So she's a wonderful one to call on if you're in uh, some kind of really hard to, to work out issue, conflict, uh, problem, and she's a, a protector in that way. She's, um, because she is very much about um, pulling you toward change, when she steps into your life or when you invoke her, it is because you, you may be aware or you will be woken up to the fact that you need to embrace change, which is not something that most of us are thrilled to do. So if you are in the middle of the big change of menopause, um, you can call on her. And any time, and I think because as humans, we're, we're creatures of habit, we often do um, fear change. And a lot of the work that I do is around helping people to understand the, the kind of normal, um, transition, stages of transition of change that we all go through. And Oya is who you want to call on when you feel like you're in the midst of that or know that you may be avoiding, you may be pushing back about changes that are coming into your life, which you know when you, when you allow them in, when you open up and get in that unsettled kind of chaotic place, that it creates room once you can let go of the stuff that's keeping you from moving forward towards whatever changes you know are up for you, then 
I love to say nature abhors a vacuum and wonderful new things can flow in, but only if you open up to the, to the amazing power of change on, on, on every level. <laughs> Kathy asks, does she overcome pandemics? Wouldn't that be nice? Um, she is change. She is wind. She is the you know the goddess, the Orisha of wind. Um, so I don't know. Let's. I, I think she's. That's a different kind of storm, Kathy. I think. So I. I think she's also. She also represents for me. One of my favorite quotes, actually from Nietzsche, from the German philosopher Nietzsche. It's not who I do a lot of reading, but he's got a, a, a quote that I think I must have learned in college. That's always stayed with me which says, we must have chaos within us to give birth to a dancing star. And I feel that Oya is, is the one who can support us in embracing that chaos so that we can open up to whatever change, whatever transformation, uh, death and rebirth is ahead for us. So given that uh, little bit of context, um, let's, I'll invite you to close your eyes. We'll, we'll step into a space when we can uh, welcome Oya into our presence, into our energy, and call on her for whatever you may need to do. So close your eyes if you haven't already. Focus on your breath. Your breath is, our breath is our own kind of personal wind. You can even, because nobody's around to hear you, you can even create sounds of the wind around you. I'm in New York City and this is probably happening around the East Coast right now but the winds have been really howling, I think, the, the ripple effects of the hurricanes down south. And you can focus on those or you can create your own wind with your breath. And allow yourself to sink into a place of deep connection with your inner goddess team. Today calling up Oya. Oya who brings us, who carries us, on the winds of change. And as you breathe into your deep place of personal power, bring to your mind's eye an image of Oya. I will show you one if you wanna crack your eyes for a moment. She's calling on lightning and storms. Bring an image of however she, this, this Yoruban, African Yoruban goddess, how you can embrace her right now. Welcome her in, call on her as you begin to formulate in your mind, in your heart, those areas in your life, your work, that you know you may be resisting change. You know you may be fighting to let go of what must be cleared away in order for new possibilities to open up to you. Call on Oya now. Imagine her approaching you, embracing you. Feel the power that emanates from her. She is truly one that bestows qualities of female empowerment, of female leadership, and always transformation for men and women alike. As you settle into this powerful Orisha's energy, speak to her, let her know what it is that you need in order to move through whatever changes are coming up for you. Articulate some area of your life, or perhaps you want to move bigger than that and look at where we are globally. If you are dealing with the wildfires in California or want to call on Orishas, on this Orisha's protection for the hurricanes. Articulate that. Feel the winds 
swirling around you as Oya takes on and takes in your request, your invocation. Feel yourself caught up in these powerful winds of change that Oya wraps around you. Not feeling buffeted, but feeling protected by her. And as you embody that energy of transformation, that energy of let go, let goddess, let Oya open you up to whatever changes lie before you. Allow yourself to be embraced by her once again and to blow away on those winds that she has swirled around you to bring you back to your sacred space where you sit now. Feel the winds subside, but know that Oya's protection remains with you. Her urging, her support as you face whatever changes are ahead for you in your life. And when you're ready, take one of those big Oya filled breaths your own personal wind and exhaling and opening your eyes and coming back to your sacred space. Welcome back. <laughs> so I hope that was a brief little introduction to Oya. Definitely um, check her out, learn more about her, find some images of her so that you can call on her for protection, for for the ability really to allow change into your life wherever it is now or where you know that you're avoiding it and that you must allow it in thanks for joining me i will be i'm not sure i'll be back next week i'll be away next week i'll have to see how i feel <laughs> but we will continue with our exploration of the divine feminine and 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 all of these ten thousand faces of of the goddess that we can draw upon their wisdom and their power and their energy to guide us moving forward. Blessings to you all. Until the next time. <laughs>